all right guys back again with another video uh this video i wanted to talk about worlds 2024 i am going to be there in a couple of days so by the time you've seen this video i will already be at worlds i'm flying in thursday at like around 11 getting my car getting situated going to get my uh spectator passes that same day and then friday saturday and sunday will be the actual event and then the rest of the week before i fly back we'll be just enjoying like vacation with my wife and my my son <clears throat> so i'm super excited for that just wanted to go over the, some of the stuff let's see if we can go through it uh <clears throat> the website we are going to check out the things they have i just want to go over some stuff Things I'm looking, hoping to pick up, and just go through that. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's see. This is the website. It's going to be August 16th to the 18th. Beautiful, just in general picture. They have the web page, the uh, artwork for Honolulu 2024. Welcome to my world. We got Pikachu. That's gonna be a great plushie. But we got Pikachu, Riolo. We got man. What is that? We get in the name. I know that's Gimme Goal. That's uh, Azurel. Azumarill? Azumarill? Uh, Mang. Main time? Main time? Main time? Let me see one. Is that a uh, lip one? I forgot the name of that one. That's Jellicent. Pretty sure the boy and the girl. Love this. Squirtle right there. Uh, we got Quaxley. We're looking Quaxley. And what is, I'm not sure what that is. Is that the po Moko Poco? I think that's Moko Poco. That Finian, whatever it is. But great artwork. Looks really, really beautiful. Let's go through it. Just check it out a bit. See what we can find. Something pertains for me. Uh, super excited to be my second world that I intended. I was in Yokohama in Japan last year with my buddy uh, Kevin. So super pumped. This one going. This time we we'll go with another friend. Okay, we kind of sadly we got this gear. Please, please excuse me. I have the window open. It's pretty hot. I have the fan going, so you might hear some cars passing through. But all right, let's check through the person in person info. All right, it's gonna be at the world's location, Hawaii Convention Center. The fun in. Doesn't end with the competition. You can stop shop it for merchandise at the Pokemon Center World Store. Battle in inside or oh, in inside events to win prizes. Trade with trainers from around the globe. You will have the opportunity to obtain special world distribution. Yeah, distributions. We got map. You can download the map. The world's the trainer town. It's pretty sick. Let me just click onto it. No, we can't. Give me a second. Right, can't click on. Let me see. Download. Let's see somewhere else. All right, then let's. I'm not sure if it's going to be recording this part. No, it's not. Dang it. Let me just go back. So, let's see if we can zoom it in. No. No. Right here, maybe. No. Oh. All right. So, well, we got some stuff. Let me see. Maybe I can add it. All right. Give me a second. Sorry about that. All right. We got it through. So, we got the whole map. We got the great, uh, great lawn, bear walker, board demo, and signing. All right. You got the play lab. Rainbow Tower, Rainbow Tower. Let's see what else we got here. Badge pick over here. What else we got anything good? We're walking Friday, August, and Saturday. Board making demo and board signing. Hey, lab. And shit. Anything else specific? Let's see. Photoshop spots. As pick up. All right, nothing too crazy. 
All right. Probably have some cool Pokemon that I great lawn to take pictures of. So, all right. Uh, let's get out of that. All right. Uh, I think we're back over there to the other page. All right. So, <clears throat> let's go to the other stuff then. It's not too interesting to me. All right. Let's go. Uh, in person, as well as the side events, activities, check out activities. Because I'm not a player, I'm not going to play the event. All right, we've got a range of fun activities that will take place in the Waikiki Bay area, including special local only community day on Wednesday. Man, so I can't play. I love playing Pokemon Go, so I can't play there. With a valid Hawaii state ID. More details come. That kind of blows because I'm not a local. It's kind, of, it's kind of stupid. People that are flying out to the event and even if they pay Pokemon Go, they cannot, you know, go over there and play with them. It's only for the locals, which is kind of cool for the locals, but kind of sucks for like people that are flying out to the event to go play. But uh, it is what it is. What can you do? Let's check out the open to the public events. So last year, everything you had to go through a lottery to actually be able to participate. So like the drones, the uh, Mafuri uh, festival and all that, you had to win a lottery, enter a lottery and get selected to be able to participate in it, which kind of sucked. You fly out there, you couldn't participate, you couldn't fully experience the whole world. Like even the drone, you had to get like a uh, Head into the lottery, pretty sure the, the parade and everything. So let's see. World 2024 Pokemon illuminate the night sky of Waikiki Bay to celebrate this year's world championships. Come see their dazzling light as they soar over the shimmering waters for some summer fun, and you're sure to remember it. All right. So this is open to public. You don't need a badge. You don't need nothing. You just go if you if you just want to attend, which is great. Which is what I want to do. Uh, Thursday. So Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, they're going to be doing it pretty cool with time from 8 p.m. to 8.10. So like 10-minute Sky Show, which is still pretty cool. Though. It doesn't matter. Free, too. To enjoy it. Go with your family, your friends, whatnot. You don't have to worry about reservations. You might want to get there a little early to get a good spot. But if it's in the sky, you probably be able to see it. It doesn't really matter what position you are. So that's pretty cool. Side events, let's check out what other side events they have. Oh, well, actually, I'm doing uh, still in activities, I'm pretty sure. Let's get through it. Uh, we got the play lab, I do not play part of it. The Shadowless Podcast Live, I'm gonna want to go that. I always like watching uh, Rope Breaking Nate, uh, Danny, uh, Super Duper Danny, and Jordan Fringe. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to enjoy that. Uh, I think it's doing two dates. Join Real Break and Ace will be Danny, Jordan Finn, the three beloved Pokemon TCG creators as they host their podcast and their variety podcast. So that's going to be pretty cool. I do enjoy what, listening to their little banters. So Thursday and Friday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. on Thursday. And 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Friday, which is pretty cool. That's all for that one. Uh, I got the world's town. Let me click on that. See what other activity they show. So, uh, village green activities. So, they will have, like, photo ops. Pretty cool. Look forward to creator and Peter, no, character meeting greets and Hula lessons, line making, origami special photo ops at the you know, village. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Pretty cool. What's the great lawn activity? Enjoy content thing. Uh, lawn game, face painting. So this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. For that. We we'll probably just have photo ops and stuff like that. Pretty cool so activity for the family. So they can have something to do. 
Plus we have Parker Lines. Let me check the Pokemon Play Lab. See what they got there. Once in our stream, we just play, learn how to play the TTG. All right, let's go back out of that. One. Let's check out the. Now, that's what before those four things are open to the public. Anybody can go. So now to required, that's required. We got the animation screenings. Horizon series. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sit back, relax, and enjoy anime, uh, Pokemon animation screens. Lico and Roy's adventure. I don't know if they're showing like new episodes or something like that. New dub episodes that haven't been released yet. We got the autograph sign up drawing. So they did this last year too. They have to do it like a kind of like a randomizer. And I think in the last day, a lot of people didn't get their uh, autographs. Kind of sucks. You got a. Uh, I'm not even trying to pronounce the, the name. So you got Ishihara, you got uh, Masuda, you got uh, Igawa, and Furusawa. So two, I mean, that would have been so cool. If they would have had uh, one of my favorite artists. Uh, I'm blinking now. Tomokazu Kamiya. They would have had him. Ooh, I would have been over. Trying to get a signature or uh, I don't know, Fukuda, the, the illustrator for the Gold Stars. Ooh, I've been all over that. But I'm, I'm gonna see, still try to get this. These you will not get be able to get a card autograph. I think they're gonna give you a poster and see. This is right here. Turn wristband does not guarantee you an autograph. We may shut it down. The wristbands at any time. We may cancel. Yeah, we did it before. You see. No personal items will be signed. Instead, posters will be provided for signing. So, yeah, you didn't get all the posters. No, you can't get your card signed. So, it is what it is. You don't want to have those scalpers, you know, just fast doing up the lines. I get it. I understand. They want to make it accessible to everybody. Not just just to flip it. You got to collect the trade corner. I'm going to try to speed it up just a little bit. But what is this? So, looking to showcase and trade your Pokemon items for trainers, sign up for the trader table where you can just do that if you're lucky. No, if you're looking to browse, you can just visit the explorer and check it. All right, you can just go. You guys kind of like not a vendor, but you can get it on a little table, I think. Uh, let me see. Let me see. What are you looking for? Sign up for a trader table. Yeah, you can sign up for a table, have your stuff like binders or stuff like greatest lab, which can be cool, but you're just only trading something like eh. But it might be a great opportunity. It might be a great opportunity just to walk around this actually see if you can trade with other uh, you know attendees, probably get some trades for a great grading place maybe. That looks pretty cool. Alright then keep an eye on that. Probably walk around for that. You know no might get some good alt arts. What is this? What is this? Genki Ball activity? Let's it up. I don't think it's too much important to me. Pokemon's collaborating. Alright, Genki Ball. Make your own ball. Mud Ball. Alright. I don't want to make a Mud Ball. So, I might pass on that. Can't take a Mud Ball with me back to back home. I live in Cali, so I'm going to take a flight back. We got a Pokemon World Championship History Museum. So that is pretty cool. They had the same thing, not the same thing, but something similar to that in Yokohama. They had different stuff throughout the whole of Yokohama. They had big, giant cards, actual physical cards, one card for like each Pokemon in the Pokédex. That's pretty cool. Right. They had what a uh, base Japanese Charizard, but they did not have uh, no rarity. So that, that seems like a missed opportunity, unless they do not recognize themselves. That was pretty cool. I have pictures of those things right there on my Instagram. Where I just uh, you hear a lot of hey. All right. So you got? Oh, they're gonna have. That's all right. Let's uh, let's go to the merch room real quick. This is what I'm mainly focusing on. Beautiful picture. All right. Welcome to the merchant room shop, local Hawaiian game and car shop. Well, what? Game and car shop on site. 
for the first time at Worlds, whether you're a dedicated collector or enthusiast or simply looking for a unique item. So they're going to have vendors there? Welcome to the merch room shop, local Hawaiian gaming club. So they're going to have vendors there. That's actually pretty cool then. There's probably potential to pick up cards from there. The actual, they never had been like actual legit vendors there. They always just have like trade corners or stuff like that. Or the Pokemon Center of the world. So that's pretty cool. Definitely going to check that out. You never know, might be able to find some cards to pick up. All right. Uh, where's the World Pokemon Center? It's not showing here. Maybe that's some other thing somewhere else. The trading card game, the pocket, so you'd be able to demo out the actual own game. So this one is the. They're gonna have what? Let me. Let's go. I want to do that. All right. Uh. Yeah, they're gonna have the 2024 illustration. Semi-finals can be all there. EX card illustration. What? No, 100. Yeah, top 100. Well, by accepting submission time for the state, this content not only showcase, so yeah, it's going to be showing the top 100, which will be pretty cool. You get a little sneak peek, I guess, or I'm not sure if they're already shown the top 100, but that's pretty cool. You can see the top 100 from the illustration contest who are potentially in the runnings to win the whole illustration contest. We got right. What else we got? I think that's all that's here. We got side events. Right, let me see. Yeah, so these are just side events for like the actual TCG build and battle challenge, switch series, parent, parents turn. So the parents actually have a tournament. A standard TCG ran for parents with shifting rules. Players can should bring a standard format deck. Oh, so this is for adult parents. Oh, part of the players, Gym Leader Challenge, Pokemon Sisterhood League, Build and Battle. Right. So, yeah, this is just like side events. You can actually win like the World Promos there too. In the pack, if you win those certain ones. Alright, so that's all that. Now, let me see if they have a Pokemon store somewhere here. Oh, and I don't think they have it in here. Activities, side events, let me click on that. I don't, I don't think they actually have the store, what they're going to sell. Which kind of sucks. That's the main thing I wanted to talk about. Tournament info, special guests. Let's see what screen who is special. Oh, uh, these are like influencers, I guess. So, John Island Road. I guess I know someone. Glowy yeah. Two Ducks. Level Trainers. And I was hoping that they would show like the actual, some of the stuff they'll have at the car. The car store. You might get my son walking around. He's well, not walking, he's crawling around. Nine months already, so he's, he's getting pace now. So keep an eye on him. Oh, it's not. He's, he's, he's really, really starting to walk. Not walk, crawl, crawl everywhere. Because they don't have anything for the store here. Kind of sucks. All right, let me try to see if I can find some of our shows, some of the merch that they're looking to get. Give me one second, please. Okay, I, I believe I found it now. Give me one second. Yes, I believe I found something. I'm not sure if it's going to show all the details. Let's go through it. <clears throat> Maybe show some pictures of the product. Make your reservation for your visit to the 2024 World Pokemon Center store. All right, so this is one of the things. They're going to have a beach ball. Let me see. It's a spot already signed up already. If you're attending the world, yeah. Okay, cool products will be available. Purchase like clothing, pin, Pokemon trading card game accessory, and much, much more. There will also be an, there will also be an event exclusive merchant, merchant that you that you will only be able to find. So there's merchandise that you can only get there. So I'm 
pretty sure I could bowling ball. I mean, not bowling is a uh, beach ball. In addition to the incredible goods available to purchase, fans can get an awesome bonus item. A special world beach ball, uh, beach ball will be available as a gift with purchase. Oh, so you're buying stuff, you get that for free. A gift with purchase. Please be aware that this item is, uh, is this item is available at po- the World's Pokemon Center pop up store only while supplies last. So you can actually get this uh beach ball for free. Well, with purchase, so depending, you might have like a you have to spend like twenty dollars or something like that, and you get a free beach ball, which would be pretty cool. Get one of those for my son. <clears throat> so the store will be oh, actually open Wednesday. Starts Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm pretty sure Wednesday is going to be for like the uh like judges and stuff like that that work in the event and actual players. Pretty sure. Wednesday and Thursday. I'm pretty sure that for that. In the event, you per- will probably maybe, maybe for everybody too. In the event that you purchase a lot of products, there will, all right. In the event you purchase a lot of products, there will be a FedEx shipping kiosk available at the World's Pokemon Center Public Store, so fans can ship their items home for an additional fee. It's certainly easier than carrying your purchase around all weekend or trying to pack them in your luggage. The FedEx mobile shipping kiosk will be located outside, just like outside, just outside the store exit, and you can streamline. That's pretty cool. You can just. Load up your stuff. I guess they learned from last year. Probably, maybe. But there was a kiosk there, too, I think. But it was in FedEx. Since it was in Japan. Ship it. That's pretty cool. 2024 Pokemon World Championship will take place in Honolulu, Hawaii. From August 16, 20 to 18. Remember, if you want to visit the Pokemon store at the event, you must make a reservation. No walk will be allowed. However, you do not. You will not need to have an event badge. So anyway, you can sign up. To ensure as many possible can reserve to the store, fans can book only one reservation time per day. Oh, so you can do multiples per day. Well, not per day, but one each day. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm probably going to do that. I'm probably going to try to sign up for the other two. I got one signed up already, so I'm going to sign up for the other day. So it's pretty cool. I think I did Thursday, so I'm going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, didn't really show many items, so let me try to give me another second again. I'm going to try to find some of the products a bit. Okay, I think I found some of it. Nothing too crazy, just a couple of stuff that I'm just going to show. I can't find like a list of everything they're going to have, so I'm just going to go from this website from the Pokemon Center. All right, let's just go more information about the pop up store, but now. All right. Third, pretty cool. All right, let's see. Parking. So they might have a different pop- conference parking. All right, so they might have their own parking. It's pretty cool. All right, yeah, we don't need to pay extra parking. All right, then. Let's get the park somewhere. Our shopper will be turned away if they try to park. All right, so they have some more special park for them. All right, then no luggage more. All right, then loud store. Gotta keep an eye on that. I might just bring some of my bags just to fill them up in there. 12 by 6 by 12. Ooh, that's pretty small. All right, then. So we got these three plushes. My favorite one is the Pikachu outfit. It really pops out blue with the scuba diamond mask and the outfit. We got a Zumarel with just a little flower right here in the ear. But we also have Riolu with the outfit. And a little camera, so that's pretty cool. I'm looking to buy a bunch of these to sell throughout car shows throughout the year. They always attract people, always want the world to spoof some stuff too. So I'm looking to mainly get a bunch stack up on uh, Pikachu's, a couple of Riolos, and a couple of Azurels. Zumarels. So I won't, don't want to stock up too much on these ones, mainly more of these ones, but mainly on Pikachu because P- Pikachu's fan favorite. But I will pick up some more so people if they want to get the set. I know there's other exclusive merch they always tend to sell. I can't find anywhere that shows everything just yet. But I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to pick up a bunch of the Pikachus, especially. So they're going to have... All right, this. right, I'm pretty sure they're going to have all this available, too, if you want to buy those. But they're very limited, especially the backpack is extremely limited. We will have just the mat, the 100 2024, the dices, don't really care for those. And I think sleeves. 
as you can see, um, that's pretty small. Like to link so we can zoom in. Right, let me zoom in a little bit. Or you got to see it's kind of blurry. Sorry, guys. You got to see it in some deck boxes. Really like this Pikachu one on the right here. Right here. This one looks really nice. I like that one. This one's pretty good too. But I like the I like small ones when I'm picking cards. I'm just sticking them like in the little deck box. So it's pretty cool. I really like want to try to get one of those backpacks for myself. This backpack looks really, really sick. If I can get lucky, get one. I want to get some of these shirts. So they have what? Who is Ryan Spooner? Some shirts. They're doing collaboration. It's pretty sick. A bunch of Pokemons in there. Definitely gonna try to pick up some of those. Depending on the price range, I want to pay too much. Do I have another page? I think it's another page here. No, this is just cards, I guess. But yeah, looking forward for, to that. Pretty sure they have other other stuff, other little probably little statues to get pick up. But I'm mainly gonna be focusing on these three. Mainly Pikachu. I'll try to get. I'm not sure how many I've got, but I want to pick up a bunch of those. Set them throughout. You know, throughout the whole year from the car shows that you go at. Probably sell some on eBay. And pretty good play. Want to get some of those. Last year, which is a ton. So I want to stock up on a bunch if possible. I know they're probably going to have limits. They did have limits the first couple of days at Worlds in Yokohama. They had five of the plushies that you can only get. And then they bumped up with 10. And then I think by the end, Sunday, they just add, take as many as you want, essentially. But looking forward to that. Like I said, mainly going to pick up plushies, probably some sleeves and deck boxes, backpacks if I can get my hands on them. But those are always so limited, so I might not even be able to get my hands on those. Some shirts are probably going to pick up those, probably some other stuff to have. If I can find more other stuff, man, I just don't know where the other, like, the products would be at. Let me see if I picked up. Nope. Not that. Give me a second. Let me see if I can find somewhere else that has more items. Okay, I couldn't find anything else really that I wanted to see. I know that there's a, a, ukule a ukulele that they're going to have over there. I'm not sure how. If that's going to be an exclusive, hard to get item. They will have a Bear Walker skateboard for the World 2024. So that's going to be pretty cool too. Those are going to be super hard to get. But not expecting to get those my hands on those. But like I said, many of these plushies I'm trying to get. Maybe some lanyards if they have lanyards, sleeves, maybe a couple of mats, some clothing like the shirt. Now uh, was it the button number right here? So see what I can get my hands on. But like that, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, if you know, if you're gonna go to Worlds, hit me up. I'm trying to meet some people over there, trying to hang out over there throwing it throughout Worlds. It's gonna be a great, great, great time. Super pumped, super excited for that. Um, probably see what we got over there. But yeah, <clears throat> super excited for that. I do have my uh, my whole weekend passes. So I'm trying to enjoy that whole weekend. Just with that and everything with the Pokemon Worlds. Trying to pick up as much as they can. Probably go through all these other side events. Like the side activities. Like what was it? The uh, Trade Center they have. Or the other was the merch one with the experts and ever having merchants. That's gonna be pretty cool. But yeah, that's like some of the stuff I'm trying to pick up, hoping to get from there. Probably pick up raw card singles for grading plays or stuff like that, or to sell to raw in the card shows. When I band, I do have one Pasadena promo card show. The in the like the first full weekend of September, which is seventh, seventh and eighth of September, we in Pasadena. I am going to go to the Burbank Car Show just to check it out. I think just a Sunday, the 25th, the weekend after World. So I'll probably check out that. But yeah, like I said, if, you let me, if you're going to go to World, hit me up. Super excited to hang out. No, that's first. All right. Super excited to hang out. See everyone there. I uh, have some buddies going out there too. Also, my, my childhood friend, that he has his wife and his son. Going there too, it's gonna be his birthday that weekend with his son, he's gonna be one years old, so it's gonna be pretty good. I think the 18th, the Sunday, so it's gonna be a great weekend. Super excited, super looking forward to this. It's gonna be a great time. First time really being in Hawaii, I think I was there when I was a little child, don't remember it. 
but super looking forward to this event and if you have any ideas if anything you're trying to pick up there hit me up let me know we'll probably work out a deal and go from there like i said they're gonna have fedex there like just ship out so if you want plushes or anything like that i'm gonna be there like you say, if you want something from there i can load up a box ship it out to you talk that in the dms if you want but that's all for now thanks a lot let me know if you have any ideas let me know if you have any suggestions let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about worlds in 2025 let me know what you think it's going to be at for 2025 actually yeah let me know if you, where you think worlds is going to be at for 2020 i think that was already it was leaked out that world 2026 is going to be in san francisco so unless they change that unless they break that contract with them for leaking the info it's going to be in san francisco but let me know your guess of where our worlds will be at in 2025 hopefully somewhere that I can go to i want to try to go to everyone going forward if it's possible it's a bit if i can go through it but that's gonna be a great time make it probably make it to like a family vacation type of situation so at that time my son's gonna be close to two years so he's gonna be walking around having fun probably my wife's gonna hopefully enjoy it too it's a great location hopefully so we'll see but yeah let me know your prediction for war 2024 let me see where would i think that so we're going to have it in the u.s next year already we're having us this is so i think they are going to let me edit that out so i think they're going to probably do it abroad this year i mean now 2025 because they already did it in oklahoma 2023 2024 is going to be in is in hawaii 2025 was leaked out it's going to no 2026 is going to leak out that was going to be in san francisco so if they don't do the United States, I'm thinking Canada, maybe. Maybe possibly Canada. For, if they don't do it inside of the United States, hopefully it's still the United States because I live in U the U.S. But if they don't do it in the United States, probably maybe Canada. Ooh, somewhere in Latin America would be nice too, but I doubt they'll do anything like that. So probably it's going to be in the U.S. for next year. But you never know. They might do it back in, uh, somewhere in Europe. So we'll see that's all for now thanks a lot let me know what you think by the time you see this video like i said it's gonna be friday already be in world so you say if you want something hit me up asap you can probably go to some, some details get what you want and i can ship it out to you that weekend at world since they have a fedex there you cover those costs so we can, let's see what we can do for that that's all for now thanks a lot and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye